Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello ladies and gentlemen Before I start the presentation, I would like to introduce myself My name is Aryo Wiraya and I am from Universitas 11 Maret In this occasion, I will present our research entitled Global Stability of Latency Equilibrium Point on Mathematical Model for Human Inflammatory Response to Coronavirus Infection Okay, everyone, I'm sure that we have already known about COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by coronavirus. Since 2020, COVID-19 has become global pandemic as announced by World Health Organization. By 27 July 2021, there are 194 million COVID-19 positive cases and more than 4 million dead cases. Coronavirus can be transmitted from animal to human or between humans. Close contact, droplets, and objects contaminated with the virus can become a means of the virus transmission. Coronavirus infection in human body is responded by an inflammatory response system which contains interaction between pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokine. Pro-inflammatory cytokine is induced to respond to the existence of coronavirus and it induces anti-inflammatory cytokine as its reductor in order to maintain it from being overexpression. Latency phase of coronavirus infection is a period of time when an infected person is asymptomatic and non-infectious. It is a period before an infected person can transmit the infection to another person. Mathematical models of human inflammatory response to coronavirus infection have been constructed in Awiraya 2021 and Awiraya et al. 2021. The model in Awiraya 2021 only concerns on characterizing the dynamics between pro-inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine in common condition, while the model in Awiraya et al. 2021 also concerns on characterizing the dynamics of the two cytokines, but especially in cytokine storm condition. Coronavirus has not been included as a variable in these two models so that we still do not know the dynamics of coronavirus in human body, especially during the latent phase. In this research, we construct a new mathematical model which includes coronavirus as a new variable so that we can characterize the sufficient condition related to coronavirus concentration to maintain the infection in the latent phase and do not progress to the infectious phase. The assumptions in this research can be read in this slide. The model has four variables which are defined in this table. There are seven parameters with their definitions and values are listed in this table. COVID-19 is caused by coronavirus that exists in the human body. We assume that the change of coronavirus concentration in the body is represented by a logistic form with kappa as its replication rate and mu as the ratio of coronavirus replication rate to the maximum concentration of coronavirus. The presence of coronavirus in the human body is responded by inflammatory response which consists of pro-inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine interaction. 
Pro-inflammatory cytokine is produced with sigma as the production rate to respond to coronavirus infection, while anti-inflammatory cytokine is induced by the pro-inflammatory cytokine with omega as the induction rate to keep it from being overproduction by reducing its concentration with FARP as the reduction rate because the overproduction of pro-inflammatory cytokine causes cytokine storm that is inflammation on blood vessels which can lead to death. Pro-inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine also undergo a natural degradation with far theta and far epsilon as the natural degradation rate respectively. Positivity and boundedness of the model solution should be guaranteed in order to get the biological interpretations of the solution. Furthermore, the interpretations make the model more realistic. Positivity of the model solution set states that the solution will be positive for every time which is appropriate for expression of concentration described by the model variables. Positivity of the system solution is guaranteed in theorem 1, that is, the set omega, which is defined like this, is a positive invariant set with V0, P0, and A0, which are greater than or equal to 0 as the initial condition for the model and T in the interval from 0 to tau. Boundedness of the model solution states that the solution will be bounded so that the solution is not blow up to an limited expression. This is in accordance with the fact that a concentration of a substance in the body has a maximum limit. Boundedness of the system solution is guaranteed in theorem 2, that is the solution of the model Vt, Pt, and At, which are greater than or equal to zero with V0, P0, and A0, which are greater than or equal to zero as the initial condition for the model, is bounded for all t in the interval from zero to tau. There is an equilibrium point called the latency equilibrium point, which is that in theorem 3. The latency equilibrium point is EL equals to kappa divided by mu 0, 0, which exists for all conditions. It is called the latency equilibrium point because the coronavirus exists in the body showed by its non-zero concentration, but the inflammatory response system does not respond it showed by zero concentration of pro-inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine. The inflammatory response system that does not respond to the coronavirus infection describes a condition that coronavirus infects the body, but the infection is not responded by the inflammatory response system. In the other words, the infection is in a latent phase. Dynamics of coronavirus pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokine relative to EL are characterized through local and global stability. We identify the sufficient condition required to obtain a certain dynamic in local and global phenomenon. Local stability analysis describes the dynamic of the solution around the latency equilibrium point. This analysis is carried out by linearization method. Local stability of the latency equilibrium point is stated in theorem 4. If kappa divided by mu is greater than far theta divided by sigma, then EL is saddle. In the other condition, if kappa divided by mu is less than far theta divided by sigma, then EL is locally asymptotically stable. Global stability analysis for the latency equilibrium point describes the characteristic that should be fulfilled in order to make the coronavirus infection in a latent phase for a long time. Global stability of the latency equilibrium point is that in theorem 5. If kappa divided by mu is less than far theta divided by sigma, then EL is globally asymptotically stable. Then, these are the simulations of local dynamics. The simulations are created to illustrate the difference between the saddle and asymptotically stable dynamics around the latency equilibrium point if the sufficient condition is fulfilled. Dynamics of the system solution are obtained by setting the parameter values so that they fulfill the sufficient condition to generate two different local dynamics of the latency equilibrium point which are appropriate with the result in 
local stability analysis. The L saddle dynamic which requires kappa divided by mu is greater than far theta divided by sigma and locally asymptotic, asymptotically stable dynamic which requires kappa, kappa divided by mu is less than far theta divided by sigma. Based on the parameter values set in this simulation, we obtain the latency equilibrium point in saddle dynamic case is ELS and in locally asymptotically stable dynamic case is ELAS. The simulation in the top left part of the figure illustrates the dash saddle dyna dynamic around the latency equilibrium point. It generates two manifold, those are stable manifold and unstable manifold. The stable manifold converts to the latency equilibrium point while the unstable manifold move out from the latency equilibrium point. The simulation shows that the unstable manifold forms some periodic solutions. The saddle dynamic risk represents two possibilities on the dynamics of coronavirus for inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine concentration around the latency equilibrium point. The first one is converted to the latency equilibrium point which implies the maintenance of latency phase in coronavirus infection for a long time when the initial condition is around the latency equilibrium point so that the coronavirus transmission can be suppressed. The second one is move out from the latency equilibrium point and form a periodic solution which implies the coronavirus still infects so that the inflammation always occurs. The inflammation is responded by the reciprocal interaction between pro-inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine forming a cycle. The clearer illustration of the cycle can be seen in the bottom part of the figure. The simulation in the top right part of the figure illustrates the locally asymptotically stable dynamic around the latency equilibrium point. The dynamic of coronavirus, pro-inflammatory cytokine and anti-inflammatory cytokine concentration around the latency equilibrium point converts to the latency equilibrium point. It represents the maintenance of the latency phase in coronavirus infection for a long time when the initial condition is around the latency equilibrium point. In this condition, the coronavirus transmission can be suppressed, but only for initial conditions that around the latency equilibrium point. Next, the numerical simulation for global dynamics. While the initial conditions far from EL, the dynamics are simulated when the maximum concentration of coronavirus is less than the ratio between the natural degradation of pro-inflammatory cytokine and the increasing rate of pro-inflammatory cytokine concentration caused by coronavirus. The simulation is created to illustrate the globally asymptotically stable dynamics towards the latency equilibrium point for any initial conditions if the sufficient condition is fulfilled. Dynamic of the system solution is obtained by setting the parameter values so that they fulfill the sufficient condition to generate the globally asymptotically stable dynamic of the latency equilibrium point, which is appropriate with the result in the global stability analysis. That is, kappa divided by mu is less than far theta divided by sigma. We set the parameter values to be the same as the parameter values in the simulation of the locally asymptotically stable dynamic of the latency equilibrium point because Construction of the locally and globally asymptotically stable dynamic of the latency equilibrium point have the same sufficient condition. Based on the parameter values set in this simulation, we obtain the latency equilibrium point in globally asymptotically stable dynamic case is EGAS. The globally asymptotically stable dynamic simulation is present presented in this figure. The simulations illustrate the globally asymptotically stable dynamic of the latency equilibrium point. They represent the dynamics of coronavirus, pro-inflammatory cytokine, and anti-inflammatory cytokine concentration that converts to the latency equilibrium point for a long time and any initial condition. It means that the latency phase of coronavirus infection can be maintained for a long time and any initial condition if the maximum concentration of coronavirus is less than the ratio between the natural degradation of pro-inflammatory cytokine and the increasing rate of pro-inflammatory cytokine concentration caused by, by the coronavirus so that the transmission of coronavirus can be suppressed.
This is our conclusion in this research. The maximum concentration of coronavirus should be less than the ratio between the natural degradation of pro-inflammatory cytokine and the increasing rate of pro-inflammatory cytokine concentration caused by coronavirus in order to maintain the latency phase of an infected person for any initial condition so that the coronavirus transmission can be suppressed. And these are our references. That is all of my presentation. I hope it can be useful for uh, the audience and can become a contribution from the field of mathematics in solving the problem of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.